To start with, unfortunately, not many Palestinians are able to access the news. They cannot access the Internet. They cannot access TVs. The very limited number of Gazans who have been hearing the news about those three countries accepting and recognizing Palestine as, state, as a state and other nine countries that are also prepared and some work is underway for the sake of recognizing, for recognizing Palestine is considered by those people as a very historic history that is being made in the meantime and one more step that brings Palestine closer to the statehood despite the agonies, despite the destruction, despite the death and the devastation they have been seeing. They think that it's going to influence Israel and it's going to soften its diplomatic and political endeavors and it will make the Israel, according to the Palestinian sources, reconsider its positions when it comes even to the ongoing war that has been causing widespread destruction and devastation for the lives and for the livelihoods of the people in the Gaza Strip. We've been talking about a food crisis in Gaza for uh, months now. Uh, the United Nations has stopped or paused its aid distribution in uh, Rafa. What now? Well, more suffering, more hunger, more death because of that ongoing military operation taking place in Rafa. This specific step is indicative of the fact that Israel has been expanding its military operations. And indeed, we have been hearing the different news about the Israeli forces moving from the, towards Yibna area, from al Janina area and from al Barazil area to hit further inside Rafah with an objective of expanding this military operation. And with that comes the great risk of imminent death for the citizens and for the facilities as well, or for the humanitarians who are trying to address the need of those people. Movement is an extremely challenge in Rafah area and throughout the Gaza Strip. Access to the very needed life-saving food or humanitarian assistance is very critical now. So now the UNRWA is extremely cautious. They decided at some certain time to stay in Rafah and never help in the evacuation process. And now they are trapped between the hammer and the hard place. On one side, they want to protect their staff. And from the other side, they want to provide the life-saving stuff for the people. And this is the dilemma of this war, where access and safety were extremely compromised and affected. And I think they will also shift their attention to another area, which is Khan Yunis. Now they have been communicating with different non NGOs and they have coordinating the work with them for the sake of providing the humanitarian services for the people who are moving to Khan Yunis and Gaza Central Area. So the situation continues to be extremely challenging and UNRWA and many other international organizations are affected by that, but the ones who are bearing the brunt of this are the Palestinians, plain citizens who have been displaced and who have been suffering and who are likely to suffer more because of the very critical situation that they are witnessing for the last few months or so.